Well, behind us here, we have the oldest bridge in New Brunswick. This is a steel arch spandrel bridge. When it was built, it was 565 feet from one side of the river to the other side, from the west to the east. And uh, this bridge was completed in 1915, and it was only the second successful bridge to be done at the Reversing Falls. It was very successful because, as I said, it's been here since 1915 and is today the oldest such bridge in all the province of New Brunswick. Still perfectly safe. We just crossed it. It bounces a little, but that's supposed to be the way it works. The first bridge that was successful here, though, was 1853, and it was built by Kilby Reynolds. Now, Kilby Reynolds was a mill owner. He lived at La Pro, New Brunswick, but his family lived in uptown St. John. And the only way across the harbor at that time was by ferry boat. So Kilby came one Saturday night to spend Sunday with his family, and it was a very foggy night, and the ferryman said, no, I will not take you across the harbor. It's not safe. So Kilby said, I am going to build a bridge at the Riverton Fall. And the tugboat operator, ferry operator, laughed. He said, you know, it's been tried three times, and they've all failed. Well, those three times were 1837, and that bridge fell after it had been under construction for a year. Eight lives were lost. The second attempt was right here at the Reversing Falls, where a man put planks out from both sides, expecting them to meet in the middle, just as this bridge does, but they fell from the weight. They fell before they were, it was complete. And the third attempt was similar. A man came from the United States claiming he knew how to build the bridge and began the bridge. He only got out part way on one side, and his bridge fell into the bay. So everybody laughed when Kibbe Reynolds said, I can build that bridge. But he hired Edward W. Sorrell, who had just built a suspension bridge at Niagara Falls. And Edward W. Sorrell was well known for his architecture and engineering work during the Civil War in the United States. And he knew what to do. So he built a bridge. It was 623 feet from side to side because it extended up over the rocks on both sides. And that bridge served very well until 1915, with one incident occurring in 1858 while crossing the bridge, a strange coach from Fredericton carrying eight passengers or stopped in the middle of the bridge and refused to go any further. The horse driver got off to see what was going on and discovered 100 feet of the center of the bridge had been struck by lightning and wasn't there. If that horse had to take it one more step, it would have been tragedy for those coach passengers and the driver. But he didn't, and the next day they began repairing the bridge and Kilby Reynolds sold it to the provincial government and they removed the tolls and made it a free bridge which lasted till 1915. It might still be there, except it wasn't heavy enough to carry streetcar traffic and people had to get off on the east and walk to the west in order to get to West St. John homes and vice versa. And that wasn't too convenient. So we got this bridge and it's very, very sturdy, 100 years plus old. Thank you.